But I think there are the sort of lighthouse moments mm -hmm. like the Move 37 that will, I would be looking for. So one would be inventing a new conjecture or a new hypothesis about physics like Einstein did. So maybe you could even run the back test of that very rigorously, like have a cutoff of knowledge cutoff of 1900 and then give the system everything that was, you know, that was written up to 1900 and then and then see if it could come up with special relativity and general relativity, right? Like Einstein did. Mm -hmm. That that would be an interesting test. Another one would be can it invent a game like Go? Not just come up with move 37 a new strategy but can it invent a game that's as deep as aesthetically beautiful as elegant as go and those are the sorts of things i would be looking out for uh, uh and probably a system being able to do uh, uh several of those things right for it to be very general um not just one domain and so i think that would be the signs at least that i would be looking for that we've got a system that's agi level and then maybe to fill that out you would also check the consistency you know make sure there's no holes in that system them either yeah something like a, a new conjecture or scientific discovery that would be a cool feeling yeah that would be amazing so it's not not just helping us do that but actually coming up with something brand new and you would be in the room for that and Ideally. so it would be like probably two or three months before announcing it mm -hmm. and you would just be sitting there Try not to tweet. <laughs> Something like that. Exactly. It's like, what is this amazing new yeah. you know, physics uh, idea? And then we would probably check it with world experts in that domain, yeah. right? And validate it and kind of go through its workings. And it, I guess it would be explaining its workings too. Um, yeah, be an amazing moment. Do you worry that we as humans, even expert humans like you might miss it? Might well, miss it may be pretty complicated. So it could be the analogy I give there is I don't think it will be um, uh, uh, totally mysterious to the to the best human scientists, but it may be a bit like, for example, in chess, if I was to talk to Gary Kasparov or Magnus Carlsen and play a game with them and they make a brilliant move, I might not be able to come up with that move, but they could explain why afterwards that move made sense. And we would be able to understand it to some degree. Not to the level they do, but in, you know, if they were good at explaining, which is actually part of intelligence too, is being able to explain in a simple way that what you're thinking about. Um, uh, I, I think that that would be very possible for the best human scientists. But I wonder, maybe you can you can educate me on the side of go. I wonder if there's moves from Magnus or Gary where they at first will dismiss it as a bad move. Yeah, sure. It could be, but then afterwards they'll figure out with their intuition that that this why this works, and then and then and then empirically the nice thing about games is one of the great things about games is you can it's, it's a sort of scientific test. Does it do you win the game or not win? And then um, that tells you, okay, that move in the end was good. That strategy was good, and then you can go back and analyze that and 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 and, and explain even to yourself a little bit more why. Explore around it, and that's how chess analysis and things like that works. So perhaps that's why my brain works like that because I've been doing that since I was four. And you're trained, you know, tra it's sort of hardcore training in that way. But even even now, like when I generate code, th there is this kind of nuanced, fascinating con contention that's happening where. I might at first identify as a set of generated code as incorrect in, in some interesting nuanced ways. But then I'm always have to ask the question, is there a deeper insight here that, that I'm the one who's incorrect? Mm -hmm. And th that's going to, as the systems get more and more intelligent, you're gonna have to contend with that. It's like, what, what, what do you, is this a bug or a yes. feature what you just came up with? Yeah, and they're going to be pretty complicated to do, but of course it will be, you can imagine also AI systems that are producing that code or whatever that is, and then human programmers looking at it, but also not unaided with the help of AI tools as well. So mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of an interesting, you know, di maybe different AI tools to the ones yeah. that they're more, you know, mo kind of monitoring tools to the ones that generated it.